Senator Ron Johnson had a pretty bad time on CNN recently because he was asked to provide evidence. You think it's fine that someone who, who tried to overturn a legitimate election is still on a Democrat board that electors helps have certifies. done that repeatedly. Democrats have done Which Democrats one? have done the same thing. In, Republicans in Wisconsin, tried to been criminalize it. Fake slates of electors. No, it's, it's happened in different states. I, Which I, I one, didn't come sir? prepared to give you the exact states, but it's happened. It's happened repeatedly. It has happened repeatedly. Just go check the books. Which books? I mean, there have been often the slates of electors by Democrat uh, electors in our history. Again, I, you didn't. This wasn't what this interview was going to be about. I'll, I'll come and I'll provide you the information. But I'm okay. absolutely certain Okay. I look forward to. That. I look forward to your office sending that information. We'll publish it if it's if we'll it's accurate. That. Well, the, the Democrats, they did it all the time. Oh, really? Which ones? Which ones? <laughs> really? Uh, ch ch check the books. Check the books. Check the books. You know why? Because none of the Democrats actually tried to overturn the results of a legitimate election. He's lying. <laughs> Look, if Democrats did the same thing, if, if they pushed fake electors that forged paperwork claiming that we're the legitimate electors, and these guys are not, in order to try to overturn election, Republicans would have made sure to let everyone know about it until the end of time. They would not be able to shut up. So, so here's the thing. This is nothing but complete and utter projection. Oh, so we're being accused of this, of, of, of you know, being fake electors. And by the way, they were found to be fake electors. They agreed. Yes, we are fake electors. We did all these things that we were not supposed to do. Now, I talked about that before the Wisconsin suit is a civil suit because Republicans look the the AG in Wisconsin doesn't have the power to actually go after the Republican fake electors criminally. They only could do it civilly. And that's because Republican attorneys general in the counties, they're the only ones that actually have the power to do election related crimes. And so they have to do it with their, in, in the, the, the congressman in their, uh, or elected official in their jurisdiction. And we don't see the Republican AGs actually going forward in any of those cases. So that's why this is civil, not criminal. But even so, in this civil thing, they agreed, yes, we actually did try to overturn an election. We were the fake electors. We were not the real electors. And we forged paperwork in order to, uh, you know, basically claim that we were. And we were going to vote for Donald Trump regardless of how the state voted. That's it. But now you hear Ron Johnson. He's like, oh, well, let's well, blame the Democrats. They did it. Well, they did it too. Oh, really? Look, that might work on Fox News, right? But you actually have to bring some evidence here. And I know they don't care. Just forget about the evidence. Obviously. Uh, and I also know that for a lot of times, they don't expect to be challenged on the things that they say. Look, again, you can go on Fox News and you can spout this all day, and nobody's going to challenge him. Traditionally, mainstream media also wouldn't challenge him because of access, right? Well, no Republicans going to want to come to my show if I, if I actually, you know, argue the truth here. But Caitlin Collins, exception, telling him in the nicest way, hey, you're wrong, put up or shut up. Uh, bring the evidence. Now, what did Johnson do? Well, he actually put out some examples to what he claims was the same thing. The only problem is it wasn't the same thing. So the examples that he cited are basically congressmen raising objections. Okay, objections to the electoral votes, and even in some cases who the electors are. But you can raise objections. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not what happened. That's not what Republicans did. Again, here you had a situation where you had multiple investigations multiple, you know, recounts, all saying the results of the elections are exactly what originally was reported. Uh, Biden won these states, uh, Trump won these other states, but Donald Trump did not have enough electoral votes to win the election. Now, January 6th, what happened there is Republicans said, we don't care about the results. We don't care. We've got these fake electors waiting in the wings for Mike Pence to not certify so that they can come in and say, I don't give a damn how this state voted. I don't agree with it. 
we're the electors now, and we're going to vote for Trump. That is a theft of the election. That is not what the Democrats tried to do. The Democrats never tried to overturn a legal election. They have brought up challenges. And again, it's perfectly fine to bring up challenges, to do recounts, court cases. Nobody has any problem with that. What the fake electors did was illegal. It wasn't just a challenge. It was an attempt to overturn the legitimate results of the election. That's it. They insisted that they were the state's rightful electors in the states that they were in, forging paperwork, falsifying documents. That's why they're in trouble. Ron Johnson is trying to conflate these two different things. Okay. Oh, no, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. No, no, it's not. Not at all. You're a liar, Ron Johnson, uh, and someone who's totally, apparently totally fine with trying to steal power as long as the power goes to him and his friends.